Okay. Okay. I'm joined by Amir Kashafji, a global citizen if there ever was one. Amir, can you uh, tell us a little bit about what you do? Well, um, I'm a financial consultant with oil and oil and gas related companies in mm -hmm. the city. Uh, but I also do some voluntary work in the evenings, uh, you know. Uh, Tell us a little I, bit more about that. Oh, well, uh, my passion is in post-secondary education. And I believe that um, enabling the youth of our society in po for, for post-secondary education is a form of empowerment for our new generations, a new generation of leadership, actually. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I meet these students through various organizations particularly the Ismaili community organizations. I meet these students on a one-on-one, -on, -one, on a very regular basis, uh, giving them the basics, a uh, plan of action on how to embark on post-secondary education. Mm. And that's become my passion. I can imagine that would be. So I in terms of the type of people that you meet and the type of advice that you give them, well, what does that look like? Can you describe that? Well, so uh, I meet students from the grade nine level, there's the junior high school level, mm -hmm. right through to senior high school. I meet undergrads who want to go to grad schools. I meet graduates who want to go to do their doctorates. Uh, I meet uh, undergrads and graduates who want to go to professional schools such as medical school, dental school, law school, mm. and the various other disciplines, particularly in health and education. Mm. This is where the focus lies. Mm. And I think this is a correct focus, in my, in my view, for the future of society to be well maintained, well oiled, and well sustained, actually. So w what do they walk away with when, when they, after they meet with you? Like what, what sort of ground do you cover with them and so on? Yeah? Well, you see, by, by enabling, I mean, uh, we need to tell the young boys and girls that society is out to help them. Society would assist them in their aspirations to go to post-secondary institutions. It could be any university of their choice. It could be any college of their choice. Mm. But the idea is that we are telling them we will hold your hand. Because it's a daunting exercise. Well, but the cost alone is, is something else. Exactly. Even the, ad, uh, the admissions process for particularly Ivy League schools, mm -hmm. I mean, the admissions application process requires essays, requires powerful letters of recommendation, requir requires the prerequisite tests like SAT or grad school, GRE, GMAT, MCAT, DAT. Right. I mean, though all those tests are required, now, what the student needs, the aspiring student needs, is a plan of action to say, where do I start? Mm. I mean, it's all simple. It's all on the internet. I mean, it's easy to get, but to put together and give it to them in, as a package mm. is what enables them to say, basically inspires them, gives them the courage. They're like, all right, here is a plan of action very simply outlined for me. Mm. When I go home, now I know exactly where to start and what to do. It's all available on the internet. So tell me, uh, how did you figure out most of these stories? Like uh, how to help these people, like the <laughs> well, scholarships and what have you that you well, do? Well, it was a, basically pers personal experience. My, my children went to university um, early 90s and um, I was called upon to pay their fees because I had told them that you go to the finest universities yes. in the world, I'll bring the money. Yes. So when they got there, uh, the, uh, you know, the look on their eyes said, buddy, yes. we're here. You better walk the walk, man. Yes. So anyway, um, we had to get the money and my wife and I paid. We worked all along and I was searching for scholarships. I went to the Calgary Public Library almost just about every day. I started photocopying. Uh, reference material, you can't take it home, so you have to photocopy. And over the past, uh, over 25 years, 30 years almost, I collected uh, 30 boxes of scholarship information. Oh my goodness. So when my children finished, and we got very little through my information, because every time I got some information, either we were too late, it was for second year, it was for first year, it was for third year, mm. you know, it just didn't fit in, it was uh, just the luck of the draw. So with that material, I decided, with all the effort I had put in to collect all that material, collect the techniques on how to apply to university, how to apply for scholarships, mm -hmm. what, what they required, what, uh, how do you craft the essay, the statement of purpose, the personal mm -hmm. statement. Mm -hmm. And it's got a certain, uh, they have certain ingredients in there. 
yeah. and uh, I thought I didn't want to waste that. So I started offering it to neighbors and their children in my community, to their children at the, you know, at the mosque. The, and so the word spread around and uh, you know, I got busy and now as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm more busy in the social endeavor, which is a one man, independent, voluntary. Right, sorry. right. And, uh, I love it. Yes, I, I, I love doing so it. So, how many people have you have you met over the last, I guess, two decades now, and so on? Well, uh, <laughs> I would say I meet an average of about. Uh, I meet a student. Uh, I would say I meet about five or six students a day in a working day, at night, in the evenings, for five evenings a week. So I would put an average of up about between 25 and 30 students a week of all colors, creeds, religions, uh, cultural backgrounds. H have you ever kept track of how many the total number would be or the amount of scholarships that they have won and, uh, or gotten, well, I guess? you know, I, I get snippets of information uh. with thank you cards and letters from the students say, you yeah. know, I got 3,000, I got 5,000, I got 20,000. Yeah. So um, I don't have an exact count, but... Uh, but it's big, I think. According to some people who keep a tally, it's, uh, it would be over this period of time running into uh, into the millions. Well, so how do people get a hold of you if they want to get you know sort of talk to you and oh, get, get in touch with you? I would be pleased to meet any aspiring student who is desirous going to a post-secondary education because I believe that in empowering our youth, we are changing the graph, we're changing the cycle of poverty, the cycle of marginalization of society and what most people don't know in our society is that mm. the less money you have the more marginalized you are financially mm -hmm. the more empowered you are the more entitled you are to scholarship because over 95 percent of all scholarships are need-based mm. and what is more there are 93 billion dollars in scholarship funds in North America and not all of them have been applied for. With that, I think we're going to end this, but say that you are a man that I think a lot of people want to talk to. I would be pleased to meet anybody that you send or anybody that approaches me because it's my duty. It's my duty. Amir, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. All the best.